And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. So a cold front moved through the region, moved through each state, Idaho and Wyoming, overnight into the overnight hours, uh, last evening into the overnight hours. So we still have some cloud coverage up in Idaho Falls, eastern Idaho, still seeing some cloud coverage, and that's moving east slash northeast. We still have some showers lingering as well in southeast Idaho and from Jackson to Afton also and in towards Island Park. Now, this activity, this shower activity, will become more splintered and more isolated in number and then eventually will all become mostly sun by the lunch hour, especially around Jackson, wrapping, wrapping up the showers around the lunch hour. A flood warning is in effect for the lower portion of Teton County still. The Teton River is flooded to about a little over four feet and expected to rise to four and a half feet over the next couple of days. And then around Thursday, expected to recede back below the flood threshold. This affects right now, currently Highway 33. It's flooded in some areas of the roadways and connecting roadways uh, due to the snow melt from the big holes and the Tetons. And then moving on to winds expected to for today, 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour and winds are going to be after these showers are over with winds are going to be the main threat for the rest of the week until about Friday for the weekend. We're looking at an area of low pressure to start to affect us and bring some precipitation, maybe some thunderstorms and more more details on that tomorrow. And then moving on to temperatures, we've been bumped down due to the cold front moving through Pocatello has a high of 81 Idaho Falls 83 and breezy conditions, mostly sun all day and then southeast highlands, similar conditions, most sun, breezy conditions, cooler temperatures, 70s, 81 for Preston, 79 for Downey. And then over in the Central Mountains, we're looking at breezy conditions as well in the 70s to the low 80s, 82 for Chalice, Salmon and Arco. Over in the Eastern Highlands, we're staying with some showers, uh, possibility of having a couple more thunderstorms to occur in the morning, in the first half of the day. And then by the lunch hour in the afternoon, wrap, uh, wrapping itself up to become mostly sunny skies. For tonight, all regions will be mostly clear and will stay with breezy conditions as well. Snake River Plain temperatures will be mild, 55 for Pocatello, Idaho Falls, 49. And then in the Southeast Highlands, 40s with 51 as a low for Incom and Preston. And then for the Central Mountains, we've got 40s, 51 for Chalice. In the Eastern Highlands, mostly 40s. And then Yellowstone, the coldest at 37. For tomorrow, we are looking at a dry, sunny, breezy day again with warmer temperatures. Pocatello warming up about a handful of degrees. 86 is the high. Idaho Falls 87. Snake River Plain all in the 80s. For the Southeast Highlands 80s except a few in the upper 70s here. So the Springs Montpelier Lava in the upper 70s. Central Mountains mostly sun breezy conditions in the 80s except for Stanley just quite not making it to 80 with a high of 79. Eastern Highlands, breezy conditions. Temperatures are cooler in the 70s with Yellowstone having a high temperature of 67 degrees. And now we'll take a look at the Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Starting with Pocatello, a high of 81 today will bump up a handful of degrees for tomorrow, a high temperature of 86. Our main threat throughout most of the forecast period until about Friday is going to be winds. We're looking at breezy conditions each day, but the windiest days are going to be on Wednesday and Friday. Blackfoot today has a high of 80 and then we'll be on a warming trend. The warmest day at this point hovers around Thursday. Thursday slash into Friday for some locations. Idaho Falls today has a high of 83, bumping up to 87 for tomorrow and then reaching 90 on Thursday. Thursday and Friday, a high of 90 degrees. For the Central Mountains, we're looking at a high of 80 degrees today and then bumping up to 86 tomorrow. And then throughout the forecast period, getting up to 87 for Thursday and Friday. For the Teton area, Eastern Highlands, we're staying with some showers for the first half of the day. Maybe a couple isolated thunderstorms, not as strong as last night, and, but this will wrap itself up by the lunch hour and then will become mostly sunny for the last half of the day. Back to you, Matt.